Hi everyone, I'm JD from We Live and Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share two new journals that I've made. These are vintage sewing journals. Yay, I love them. So they're quite the larger size with the envelope. I'm revisiting, revisiting the envelope size journal. So it's about 23 centimeters by 16 centimeters. And yeah, really cool. They have two different covers, but I like this one because it has the sewing machine. I also like the French, um, French cafe, French wines, little pieces there, and that vintage paper. So I'm calling this one French cafe. This one I'm calling coats and dresses. And I just used the cover of an Enid Gilchrist book, pattern book. So you, can, so you can see I chose one of the pages from the book to be the back cover, stitched all around. Now these are pretty much all feature pages are from vintage sewing books. I think I used three different sewing books and just yeah, love the inside of this cover in particular. Really, really pretty. Um, and then there's a lot of vintage ephemera in here as well. All trying to go with the sewing thing because I thought this looks like embroidery. Um, or stitching, stitches and stitching. <laughs> and I tried to include quite a bit of lace and fabric, lots of vintage things as well. And these, I had some of that paper left over, so I just cut out the individual pictures and turned them into journal cards, sewed them onto coffee dyed paper. There is a large flash card in there. Here's the cover of one of the books that I used. Oh, these are vintage buttons. So these are the last of those now. I'm trying not to hoard. <laughs> I made a whole bunch of vintage, authentic vintage French sewing themed tags. And I just think they're adorable. So I, I finally have parted with them and put them in these journals so that you'll see a whole bunch of these throughout the journals. This is a vintage card. Ooh, hello. <laughs> um, now the pages are a little bit fragile because it is... Um, original vintage sewing pages so they are a little bit fragile and here is a vintage receipt or checkbook type of piece vintage fabric pocket page and I just included a vintage envelope to do with the ladies look at this so pretty um, I reinforced the pages with some masking tape if it was a bit too fragile Here's a vintage invoice receipt type thing. <laughs> and this is vintage lace. Created a large pocket there. Love this one. And this, so cool. This is a little pocket here. It has a vintage slide. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's a fashion slide. So it fits in with the sewing theme. Another card in here. This is vintage blue lace. Love this. In the pockets I have some more of those authentic French tags. Okay, let's just put that in there. I sewed some of those crochet doilies on here. There's another one of those vintage French tags. Um, these I make with the manila folder. I've got a tutorial on that. And so that allows some writing space on there. And it has the cream tones that I love. Vintage bridge card. These are so cute. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in owning any of these journals, feel free to get in touch. My email will be in the description box below. Uh, just let me know what country you're from so I can give you a shipping price as well. This is really cool from my sister-in-law's grandma. So real connection to that vintage piece. Guest check there, middle page and flashcard. I decorated this coin envelope with some leftover pages from the um, sewing books and then just a vintage queen stamp in that coin envelope love that it's so sweet and that goes like that another receipt thing there and another tag in here vintage lace flip this is a really cool pocket with a Rolodex card in there. And then this is a large flip. Just decorated it with some washi. I thought that went well with the theme. 
and there's another card I'm um, sorry envelope in here with the stamp there love that if I can get it back in that would be good <laughs> Vintage paper again. Love the number. These pockets really fun. I made these pockets out of the vintage pages. This vintage piece, this vintage tag. Again, just love that. Another tag from the French pages. A little note card or something in here that I got from that vintage place where I got the cards. There's my stamp. There's the back. And I'll just do a quicker flip through of this one because it's pretty similar. They are sisters. Everything inside is the same, same pieces or same types of pieces where possible. Um, this one has a pink button card. You get your different set of vintage French tags, cards. This one has a pink receipt paper. I, I put the pink one in this one because it matched the pink buttons. Same vintage envelopes in this one as the other one. That's so pretty. And same piece there there's this, another photo slide there so you can see it's all the same pretty much so if you are interested in one uh, let me know which one either the French cafe or the coats and dresses one I guess it'll just depend on which cover you may be drawn to more love that or maybe you like some pages more than others this one has this piece instead of that flower piece on the other one. There's the flip. And again, same bits and pieces here. So just be uh, careful taking those things out of pockets because the pages are fragile, being so old, and that is this journal as well really really fun to make I'm enjoying working with this larger size again um, so you'll see some more in this size with some different themes that's pretty much all I've got now in my sewing journals I've used every single page of sewing pages that I had and sewing ephemera so that I'm, I'm trying just to use up my supplies now and see what themes I have and trying to yeah use them all up now <laughs> so tick for all the sewing supplies Woo! <laughs> all right thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that flip through let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you in the next video bye guys